Well, it's been a few months. Oh uh, yeah. Several months since you've seen these two together here on the uh, on the anchor desk. Feels a little bit like deja vu. Yeah, my old pal Lauren Moss and what, what, four, four years, four years we anchored together. Four years, a lot of big stories yeah, and absolutely. laugh out loud moments with yeah. you. Can you believe it? Five years ago was when I walked into this newsroom. Brand new face walking in, had no idea what I was stepping into. Maureen McFadden, of course, retiring after more than 40 years here. And oh, by the way, she anchored 25 years with her brother, Terry. At the time, I heard a lot about the McFadden legacy. And after working with you and co-anchoring with you for four years, I finally understood it. And you did spend some time co anchor with Mo, right? Yes, two weeks together. So yeah. she was the one to introduce me, which I really appreciated. But it was still tough. If, uh, it was it was a lot, a lot of pressure that I was feeling and I was putting a lot on myself. And I'll never forget, you pulled me aside and you said, just be you. Yeah. Take a breath. And be yourself. Yeah. And you've been you since you walked in the door. And I think that's why our viewers have accepted you. They've embraced you. And they don't want to see you retire no. anytime soon. <laughs> it's like, this is not about me tonight. <laughs> Over four decades in journalism, Terry, advice. this guy right don't here, he has covered stories of storms, here. politics, tra tragedies, and triumphs. And Terry, you won't talk much about it. I know you. But you've been recognized for your great work. And just recently, we won our first Emmy together. You remember that night? Oh, I do. It was a magical night up in Chicago. There you are with that old dude. <laughs> but uh, we had a good time. We actually yeah. uh, co-hosted. Uh, we did. We were, we were presenters, so to speak. We were presenters, of course. And, you know, we wanted to take a look back at some of your more adventurous and memorable stories covering your hometown. Once we ascend this ladder, we're inside the inner dome and ready to continue our journey. Not many people can say they've been inside Notre Dame's Golden Dome, but Terry McFadden sure has. Here's proof. Because of the renovation, the view from the slotted windows inside the cupola is now obstructed. But thanks to some scaffolding in place for the dome's regilding, we get an even better view. And what a view it is. And after clinging to the scaffolding, I cower back to safety and officially add my name to an age-old fraternity. Did a franchise called Off Limits, where I would have access to places the average person would not get access to. And that one I really loved because I got to go up inside the Golden Dome, which if you get caught doing that now, you could end up hard labor the rest of your life. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Ma, top of the world. <laughs> I got an inside tour with Lou Holtz in his house. It's a chronology of Lou's rise through the coaching ranks, although the decor belies the fact this area was designed more for the children and Beth than Lou. That we wanted our children, we had four of them, to always feel free, free to bring their friends here. I got to go into the containment dome at Cook Nuclear uh, Power Plant in Bridgman. And the enormity of this building is no accident. The volume is designed that if there was an accident, the steam that would escape would be maintained within that volume. I got to see some really interesting things. It remains a beacon for many a boater navigating in the darkness. We all know Terry was made in Michiana. So is. And the hometown boy went on to showcase local businesses also made in Michiana. This is tough. This is what they want. They are the folks building the new Cleveland Browns football stadium. Basically about been many. And the finest fabrics by the skilled hands at Troyer's in Shipshawana. Just one of a dozen carriage makers left in America. A lot of satisfaction. One thing you can expect to walk at least 300 feet to the terminal because that's a new setback requirement. But it's the people Terry's always had a passion for. Oh, we did. Those were those were the best. A message from Terry's longtime Contact 16 producer. We covered a lot of great stories in Michiana. We helped out a lot of people and shined a light on a lot of things that never would have seen the light of day. And I 
could not have asked for a better person to work with during that entire time. Let's say there was somebody with a disability who didn't have any money and they needed a ramp. So Gene called Contact 16, and we called Christian Builders, who, with materials donated by Big C Lumber, answered the prayers of Gene and Francis. We would get people to donate their time and materials, you know, and we'd get somebody in a wheelchair a, a ramp to, to, really to get in and out of the house. I really appreciate it. And those were the stories yeah, of, of Contact 16 that I, that I really enjoyed. You got some cucumber slices. In fact, you got one long cucumber slice. If you ask Terry about his favorite franchise, well, that answer is easy. People still ask me about it is, <laughs> is as seen on TV. And what it does is it puts the paint on the point and paint apparatus. They say the great thing about this is that it doesn't drip. Look at this. Well, drips a little bit. <laughs> One year for a series I did as seen, I, I did a series of four pieces, I tested four things. And they were so popular, the news director said, how would you like to do this as a regular franchise? I said, sure. And we'll see if we can put it back. All right, we have a dime on the floor. Well, what do you know? All right, we're ready to tackle that tough baseboard stain with a little soap and water. A lot of it, people think, oh, that was just, you know, gimmicky and all that. But, but there were people who actually were interested in these products, and they wanted to know if they worked. So let's see how it works. I have a full pouch of Huraclean. I'm going to tear it open and pour it in. And as you can see, it is starting to foam up and bubble. And so it was either the thumbs up or the thumbs down. And... Fortunately for the manufacturers, most of the time I gave them the thumbs up. Yeah. And that's just the type of man Terry is. It's a thumbs up from all of us on an incredible career. Contact 16 is going to give the Spiruli the thumbs up. And we'll give it the thumbs up. Getting the thumbs up. And gets the thumbs up. You know, <clears throat> uh -huh. I love that franchise, yeah. but it was the bane of my wife's existence <laughs> because... <laughs> She's like, you let them into our kitchen. You showed them. I, the I remember the thing in the, the toilet tank. She's oh, like, yeah. I can't believe you let them in that bathroom, <laughs> that dirty bathroom and that old toilet. I'm oh, like, I had to test the product. We had to do it. Um, we did it for the job. Yeah, and interestingly, people would often, I would get emails or calls saying, you know, hey, I like the product and all that, but where did your wife pick out that color oh, for the I believe it. for for the for the kitchen? We love that red. <laughs> she wanted, they want to know you know what color it was and yeah. what what you know what palette they could search yeah. and all that. So I would often get comments about our house, which made my wife uncomfortable. But she understood she understood it was part of the business. She was yeah. in the business at one oh, point yeah. in her life, so she understood it. But it was still uh, she thought maybe people could get too good of a too close of a look into our too lives. Much, yeah. Too much. Too but, but that. That was a that was a fun fun franchise. And I heard um, you still get asked about it today, right? When you go out and about. Yeah, I still do. Uh, I still get asked about some of those products. <laughs> They're probably Are they in the, in the closet or something. Uh, well, you know what we used to do? We used to have a, a we used to have a Christmas party here. <laughs> Give them away. And and the news director would say, "Where's your collection of as seen on TV stuff?" I bring in the bags, you know, because I'd test them like once a week. Yeah. And we'd give them away as door prizes at the <laughs> Christmas party. So, if somebody wants to start doing as seen on TV tests again, uh, we, can, gifts. We, we can give them away. But no. Um, one thing I liked about my time here is that I wasn't stuck on one franchise ad nauseum forever. Um, I, you know, you, you get a little burned out with certain ones, right. and it's time to make a shift. Mm -hmm. And so it was, you know, the. the um, the off limits were just fabulous, so cool. but finally you ran out of places to get into, right. and then you know OSHA regulations and people started getting a little. You know the lawyers were calling up and saying, "Hey, don't let them in there." So <laughs> my my places to explore kind of vanished, and then Made in Michiana was great because who wouldn't want mm -hmm. to know about a a place in this area that's employing a lot of people right. and, it, and it's putting a good product out on the market. Uh, and then of course, Contact 16, We, uh, you saw the story about yeah. the woman in, in, the in the wheelchair. I mean, those were the kinds of, and, and see Jen Tremaine, who used to be Jen Stratham, my dear her, she and Vanessa Weber were the best. Um, we were really fortunate to, to have such quality people work here and yeah. we still do have quality 
people working here. And these are the types of stories you're going to continue to see long after I'm gone. Yes.